Today's matchup is between the curse and abomination. So to start out with some similarities, both of these guys have been able to take on major opponents like Thor and Hulk, who are two Avengers and two of the strongest Avengers so far in the MCU. Another similarity is that both of them are very, very strong. They're able to take major blows, and also both of them started out weaker and took something to get them to their final strongest form. Abomination actually started out as a human, took some kind of super soldier serum to get him really strong, and then ended up taking Bruce Banner's blood to finish off his powerful form. And the curse started out as somewhat of a normal human, and then got the curse stone to make him really, really powerful. So Abomination is basically two times the strength of Hulk in the beginning of the fight, which is what we're going off of. And he has spines on his arms, legs, and back, which he could use against the curse in battle. He can jump really high, and he has immense strength. The curse is similar with the way that he has spikes, even though he has a lot more. He's skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and obviously he has immense strength. So as far as the feats go, both of them, Abomination was able to go up against the Hulk and make him bleed and really give him a good fight. And Hulk ended up beating him just because he keeps getting stronger and stronger. But he was able to hit cars out of the way easily, lift one up and smash it down, and then he was able to catch a rocket from a rocket launcher. In the curse with his feats, he was able to deflect Thor's hammer, which is something that no villain has been able to lift. Vision's been able to lift it, Captain America's been able to budge it. Come on, Cap. <laughs> and he's been, he was able to deflect that. He knocked down Asgard's shield with one punch, and he was able to kill many Asgardians just by holding them by their throat, and that's how he killed many Asgardians. So if we talk about the end of the character, at least how they were defeated, that can really show a lot about how strong the character is. Abomination was strangled by Hulk and was basically just exhausted because Hulk kept getting stronger and stronger, would never stop. So he's not dead, but he was defeated there. And the curse was killed by the use of the black hole grenade. And that basically just collapsed his whole body into a black hole. So as far as the final results go, I would give size and speed to Abomination. Because he is bigger and showed more speed in the movie. And I would have to give strength, durability, and accomplishments to the curse. Because he showed more strength with taking down Asgard's shield with one punch. Deflecting Thor's hammer. And the fact that he really didn't get injured until he just straight up got killed by the black hole generator. Which I feel like even though Abomination's alive, I feel like the way that the curse died, anybody in the Marvel Universe would have died. But I don't think the curse would have died or got defeated the way that Abomination did. And with that, I say that the curse wins this fight. If you have any ideas about what my next versus video should be, let me know down below. The only requirements are both characters have to be in the MCU. That's the only requirement. Let me know down below, and thanks for watching.